Donaghy with the kick. Is Turner. And Wajobi after a mistake by Stevens. And Everton looked jittery. Reed got in difficulties first of all. Harford threatened. Stevens made an awful hash of it. Miss kicking. And then Wajobi sent his shot across the goal. It... Wajobi. He's trying to take them on. Harford. And Wajobi's in here. He's still in. Oh, blocked by Gary Stevens, nearly on the line. Wajobi can't believe it. He was past the goalkeeper. And Stevens saves Everton. Ricky Hill. That's Parker. What a superb effort. This lad made the important goal in the fifth round. Won't be 20 until September, and he's got a good appreciation of the game. Thought he might catch Southall out there, didn't he? Here's Turner. Steen. Turner again. Wajobi! Three times now he's been close. A good cross from Wayne Turner. Wajobi with the header and Southall with the save. Hill. Looks for Parker. Harford's there. And here's Hill. Beautifully taken. And Luton deserved their lead. Credit first of all to Harford for unsettling the defence, then to Steen actually for holding one of the defenders off. But when it came out to Ricky Hill, that shot was unstoppable. And after 37 minutes, the underdogs are in front. And the man who... And shots, flick, and Stephen! Yes, he did! And a good save by Seely. Short flicked it on. Stephen with the shot, and Seely had to get down to make a good one-handed save. Mountfield is forward for the kick. That was Mountfield, and that's Sheedy, and here's Bracewell. He hit the post. A fine effort by Paul Bracewell. Here's Hill. Oh, nicely round Ratcliffe. And the break on the right for Luton is by Gary Parker. Steen's in the centre, and there are others joining him. Still Parker. And Harford. And it's Hill again! Good save by Southall! And when Ricky Hill threatened to get his second goal, Southall, going down to his left, made a magnificent save. Is Sheedy going to curl one? He drove one! It's there! the kick what a volley by Gary Stevens the bench thought that was going in well the relief down there must be enormous 
they could have won it then. The end of normal time, and the score is 1-1. Everton came back in the end from Ricky Hill's goal to save themselves with Kevin Sheedy's free kick less than five minutes from time. So their dream of the treble, of retaining the FA Cup, is still alive. And Luton are the team who've got to pick themselves up again now because they will feel that they were so, so close and the frustration, as against the elation of the Everton camp, must be for Foster and company quite distressing. Well again. Landon Howe. Good run by the left back. Great run. And Gray off the line. Mal Donaghy makes the clearance that keeps Luton in it. Andy Gray might have felt he could have got a better shot in because Landon Howe set that up superbly. There was a bit of a dummy on the near post and Gray's shot kicked away by Donaghy. And here's Reed. And in how? The last minute of the first period of extra time. Gray looks dangerous again. Reed is coming in. It's Reed! Great save by Sealy! Reed has held his head. What a save that they'll appreciate. But what a good move too by Everton. Andy Gray set it up, he looked so busy there coming short. He put Reed in, and Reed was going for glory there until Seeley came out and blocked him. Sheedy curls it, Mountfield's there, and it's a goal! centre-half and it's by far the sweetest for him and for the Evertonians but the noise around the ground sweet music to the ears of the Everton players Steen is in there Steen oh it was a chance it was a chance for Luton the first they've had for a long long time just under three minutes remaining when that happened and how to Gray. And there it is. Everton are through to their second successive FA Cup final. The holders come from behind to win in extra time, thanks to Derek Mountfield's goal. 21 games unbeaten now, still chasing the treble. Everton, at the end of a hard week, can celebrate again. Disappointment for Luton Town. Elation for Everton. They only equalised five minutes from the end of normal time and they won the match five minutes from the end of extra time. Sheedy's free kicks the key after Luton had played so well earlier in the match and led for an awful long time. So a semi-final which looked as though it might go the way of the underdogs. But in the end, after a most exciting afternoon at Villa Park, in which players and supporters did themselves proud, went the way of the favourites. And still, the question is who can stop Everton? They win here by two goals to one, and go through to defend the FA Cup at Wembley 